Welcome to Homeschool Nolan, here to help you navigate learning in the digital age. There's been a lot of anxiety lately about how AI is going to replace a lot of jobs, including computer programming jobs. You've probably heard about how ChatGBT and other generative AI tools can now write code just as good, if not better, than humans can. So with this begs the question, should I still learn how to code? And my answer is yes. Whether you're a homeschooler, high school, college student, or an IT tech professional, learning, learning to code is still an important and valuable skill in the age of AI, regardless of whether you actually end up getting paid to write code. But coding and coding jobs have changed over the years. And in this video, I'd like to talk about what it means to code in the age of AI. But first, let me share why learning to code is valuable to learners of any age. My wife got this book, my first coding book, which I'm currently going through with my five-year-old. I like to read the first paragraph from the book. It says, coding is about more than just telling a computer what to do. To be a super coder, you need to be determined to succeed, creative, and good at working in a team. So yes, coding can indeed teach you perseverance in trying to solve problems. It can also be a digital outlet for creativity. Through coding, you can create and build websites, games, and other useful applications. It also teaches teamwork. Coding isn't just a solitary activity with a lone programmer in front of a computer screen. If you want to build anything complex, you have to build and code as part of a team. And coding can teach you how to build complex applications put together from simpler components written by other people. And coding, of course, also teaches problem solving. It teaches you how to think logically and use limited resources more efficiently to accomplish a goal. For these reasons, even if you don't end up making a living as a software engineer, learning to code can still be just as valuable as say learning a sport or playing a musical instrument. Now those are reasons why anyone could benefit from learning how to code. But let's say you're particularly interested in a career in tech. Yes, AI is likely to eliminate many programming jobs, but most of those jobs I believe will be entry level jobs. There will always be a need for people who can read code generated by AI and judge whether it can be used as part of a larger, more complex project. But coding, as I mentioned earlier, has changed over the years. When I first learned to program as a kid, way back in the 1980s, I learned an interpreted language called BASIC and then a compiled language called Pascal. I, I realized that once you learn the commands and syntax, it was all about using the language to solve problems. Later in college, I picked up C and a little C++ and learned the importance of memory management and how to use data structures and algorithms efficiently on top of the limited resources of the computer. Now, C and C++ are good for what's called systems programming, where you're writing code for operating systems or software that works directly with the OS to run other devices. But most people want to write code for applications or programs that we use directly to do our work, communicate, or even play games. For that, it's easier to use higher level languages like Java or Python that allow you to focus on the problem you're trying to solve and less so on the idiosyncrasies of particular computer hardware. Today, in the age of AI, people are now saying that everyone is a programmer and that's because English is now or will become the most common programming language. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you've ever played around with AI chatbots like ChatGPT, you know that the way to get them to work is by entering a prompt. A prompt is just a command or qu query written in plain English that tells the AI what you want it to do. Now, writing good prompts, though, is actually harder than it sounds. In order to get your desired output, you sometimes have to adopt certain techniques and patterns. And sometimes, these can only be learned through trial and error. If you want to do more advanced stuff with AI, you should still learn how to code. But coding in the age of AI 
It's more about knowing how to use code others have written rather than coming up with your, coming up with your own unique algorithms. In fact, programmers today rarely have to come up with their own innovative algorithms like they may have had to do in a college project. That's because just about all the common programming problems have already been solved by others, and the code is usually available in the public domain. Nobody is going to hire you, hire you to write a sorting algorithm. But what they may hire you to do is to be familiar with all the different software libraries and packages out there and know how to use their APIs to put together a more complex software project. I'm finding now that this is no easy task and it often requires experience to become good at it. So if you're interested in pursuing a career in AI, you should definitely learn how to code. Just remember that learning to code now also means knowing how to skillfully, skillfully use code written by others. By the way, if you're looking for an online course on coding, check out study.com. Study study.com has over 8,300 engaging videos, including lessons on programming languages like C and Java, and also in artificial intelligence. I use it with my kids, and I also find it a great way to support my own supplemental learning. Use the coupon code HOMESCHOOLNOLAN and get 30% off the first three months. Check out study.com today. One more thing I'd like to add is that the popularity of specific programming languages like BASIC, C, Java, and Python can come and go with the times. But that doesn't take away from the value of learning how to code regardless of which language you use. Coding can help you develop problem-solving skills as well as give you an outlet for creativity. And I hope this video has reassured you that despite all the doom and gloom about AI taking over jobs, that learning to code is still definitely worth learning, whether you're a homeschooler, in high school, or college, or a tech professional. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to click subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.